Hello there, welcome, welcome to Math Simplified for You and my name is C.A. Ramakrishnan and in today's class I have combined three different solids of same radii, a hemisphere, a solid cylinder and a cone. Since they are of same radii, you can see they match rim to rim. And in today's class, we will learn how to find the volume and total surface area of this combined solid. Let's start with the volume. The volume of a hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube, unit cube. The volume of a cylinder is pi r square h, unit cube. The volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h unit cube. Remember, the height of the cylindrical portion and the height of the conical portion may not be same. Be very careful while calculating. What will you do? You will simply add the volumes of these three individual solids. Take pi r square common because that is the highest common factor to ease your calculation and you will leave the answer in unit cube because it's a volume. Now the challenge however is to find the total surface area of any combined solid for that matter since there is no ready-made formula available. So by now you know the question to ask yourself, which portion can I see, touch or feel? I can see, touch or feel in this combined solid, the curved surface area of the conical portion, which is pi r l unit square, l here is slant height, mind you, plus area of the cylindrical portion which is 2 pi r h unit square plus area of this hemispherical portion which is 2 pi r square you will add them up while adding what will you do you will take pi r common and leave the answer in unit square because this is area but hopefully you remember, you should not be taking these two and these two. Why? Because they overlap. So neither you can see nor touch or feel. Now the question is, how to remember and recall it during the exam? Imagine. Yeah, you need to imagine these three combined solids and develop your own formula. This is C. Ramakrishnan from Math. Simplified for you. Thank you.